This week, I'm going to ever so slightly break the rules, but only just a little bit, and I do think it's special. And then we'll do the top five best new metal albums of the week. Welcome, metalheads. I'm the host of Heavy Metal Philosophy and writer for Metal Digest, John Barbus. It's the weekend, and that means I'm bringing you my top five favorite of the new metal releases that came out this week. And as always, I'll be bringing you my favorite album art of the week. And as is customary here, I always talk about the big releases before I do my top five. So let's get that out of the way now. And here's where I talked about breaking the rules, but only ever so slightly. We got a new Foo Fighters album called, But Here We Are. And I know that the Foo Fighters are not metal, but this is a very important album coming on the heels of Taylor Hawkins' death and my colleague Samuel over at Metal Digest wrote up a very touching review of the new album and I saw fit to shout that out from here on out it's all metal the rest of the episode also there's a new album from Avenged Sevenfold called Life is But a Dream did you hear my podcast earlier in the week where I went through their entire back catalog and gave my thoughts on their musical growth trajectory and how I thought the new album would sound at the end of the episode I will have a link where you can click right here real easy and get to that if you want to but in the meanwhile I highly recommend this album I'm not the biggest Avenged Sevenfold fan. I've never been a core kid, but I love this album. It's super weird. It's super experimental. It's psychedelic. There's multitudes of different sounds and vibes on this one. It's heady, but it's rooted in metal and sinister gates. Goes the fuck off on guitar all over this album. I love it. You will too. Check it out. Coming in at number five from the UK, we've got Tortured Demon with Rise of the Lifeless. And this one was really interesting to me because it's listed as thrash metal slash metalcore. And much to my surprise, that's not really a genre blend that I hear very often. You know, that's two of the most popular subgenres of metal. And I'm kind of surprised now that I think about it that they haven't been blended more often. But there you go, here's one thrash slash metalcore and in my opinion it's more thrash than it is metalcore it's, it's not metalcore that's thrashy or that was influenced by thrash it's thrash that was influenced by metalcore you can really hear it in the melodic bits it got it has sort of that melodic death prettiness to it and then the rest of the time they're thrashing around and i found that really interesting and fun you will too if you check it out coming in at number four from Finland, we've got Atlases. The name of the album is Between the Day and I, and this is listed as post metal. And a lot of times when you hear something is listed as post metal, it's got this weird sort of sound to it, very little chugs, it's more noisy. And I do understand why it's listed as post metal because it, it, it's very moody the way that post metal is, but I think it's really not that it's more like a modern take on melodic death it's very heavy and you know it's just got that atmosphere and very modern approach to guitar and that's i think why it's listed that way but it doesn't matter why it's listed that way because at the end of the day the music is heavy that's why i like it that's why it's on the list check it out coming in at number three from pittsburgh we've got unfurl with ascension and this is sludge metal. Y'all know I love that sludge metal. This is extra sludgy. Got that muddy stank on it. But then I can also hear a bit of blackened death in there, which makes the metal head in me very, very happy. You'll be happy too if you check it out. Coming in at number two. And it's been a long time since I talked about stoner metal on this show. We got some stoner metal from Colorado. It's called Messiah Vore. The name of the album is Transverse. And this is, it's sludgy stoner metal. You know, when you hear the term stoner metal, you really think about that pentatonic scale, like classic rock sounding stoner metal, you know, the psychedelic sounding singer, the kind of same samey sounding. Not this, this is heavy. There's lots of screaming. I can hear lots of punk rock influence on the vocals and there's metal riffs in here. But you know, they smoke a little weed and it's in the sound. I appreciate that. You will too. Check out number two. 
Before we do number one, if you love metal, whether I love metal, you're in the right place because that's all we do here. Every weekend exclusively on YouTube, we shout out the best new metal releases that came out that weekend. And then every Tuesday is the podcast where we talk about the philosophical and newsworthy goings-ons in the metal community. So if that appeals to you, hit that subscribe button. If you like any of these bands, hit that like button. It helps spread the word. You're the real MVP in that regard. But now let's do number one. Coming in at number one, we got some UK death metal. It's Affect called Theory of Mind. And I love this because when I say what it is, you're going to get a certain thing in your mind. Hold on. Hold on to that thought. It's genty sounding death metal. But it, this is where I said hold on. Because when I say gent now, all sorts of baggage comes with that label. This isn't that caricature of gent. This isn't just bow, wow, wow all the time, zeros and ones. It's more subtle than that. It's, it sounds to me like a death metal band was influenced by Meshuggah. But they didn't go to each other in the writing room and say, let's make it sound like Meshuggah or let's make it genty and modern. I think they just wanted to play death metal. And because they listened to a lot of Meshuggah, just some of that bleeds in a little bit and gives it just, just the right amount of vibe, real subtle. So it's like modern death metal. I love that. That's why it's number one. You'll love it too if you check it out. Now let's talk about the album art of the week. This week's album art of the week is industrial metal from Texas. The name of the band is Burnt Skull and the name of the album is Daylight Mutilation, which is as metal as it gets. But look at this album cover. That's not something you really see in metal very often. The bright blue sky, the green grass, the guy, the person, whoever that is in the picture is not wearing black or cargo shorts or a trench coat or whatever but then look upon closer inspection maybe you zoom in a little bit you see that there's blood spewing from his face what happened what's causing this guy to be mutilated in the broad daylight like that i don't know it made me curious made me want to listen to the album definitely don't see this in metal very often and that's why i appreciate it that's why it's this week's album art of the week now, during the big band section, I alluded to the Avenged Sevenfold podcast. If you click right here, you can catch that one. Thank you so much for joining me. Comment, let me know what you think about the bands. But most importantly, read philosophy, listen to metal. I love you.